Good morning. Oh, it's another cold day. I don't want to get out of my sleeping bag. Yeah, it's really smoky out here this morning. Before I left, I saw there was a fire north of Steamboat. I hope there's nothing new that's closer that I need to worry about. Mm -mm. Instant oatmeal and Starbucks instant coffee. Breakfast of champions. All right, I'm off. Day two, here we go. Probably never be able to see this on this camera, but there's definitely a big old moose out there. Let me move over here. There, maybe you can kind of see it. So the good news here is it looks like I can continue on this trail for a couple miles. Uh, so that'll be a nice little reprieve from road walking for the first part of the day. Uh, yeah, I think this goes for about two miles and then I'll hit the Continental Divide Trail. And then I'll take that for a mile or so back to Trail Ridge Road and then I'll continue down the road from there. Sure shot a Bullwinkle out there. It's cruising. A lot of down trees on this section of the trail. Looks like they've uh, taken care of some of them, but not others. can't tell if this is all beetle kill or if it's from the East Troublesome Fire. Doesn't really look like this stuff is burned. It may just be beetle kill. There was a massive fire here last summer though. The, uh, the East Troublesome Fire, it, it really wreaked havoc on the town of Grand Lake. Uh, and a lot of the park and it went it went into the mountains and met up with another fire I think that was the Cameron fire and uh, became one just massive fire they evacuated the town of Grand Lake and Estes Park and possibly Granby too I can't remember but it was really bad burned a lot of acres people died Lots of homes were lost. It was really sad. So today I'm gonna to be hiking through the town of Grand Lake and beyond. My goal is to make it to one of the campsites on the lake. I'm really gonna to have to push myself though. I think the closest campground there is gonna be at least 16 miles. All right, looks like I'm coming up on the Continental Divide Trail here. That's where I make a left and head down to, back down to Trail Ridge Road. About three and a half miles from last night's camp and I'm back on the road. It's not my favorite kind of hiking, but I guess as far as road hiking goes, it doesn't get a whole lot better than this. It's obviously very scenic. The traffic is not whizzing by. Everybody drives pretty slow. If it wasn't for all this haze from the fires. I don't know how well you can see this through the haze, but this entire area was just scorched in last year's fire. It's really bad. So the last few miles have been pretty depressing. It's the one cool thing though, is seeing all the flowers growing up out of the ash. All right, exiting Rocky Mountain National Park right now is the most pleasant visit. It's funny watching all these cars come in. Most of them pull through, make a U-turn and leave. I think they're people that don't know about the new reservation system. They just come in and they're told they need a reservation between nine and three. 
and just uh, <laughs> turn around and go back to town, I guess. I'm gonna head over here, see if I can find some cold water, maybe a place to take a break and eat lunch. Back on the road, I had a nice little break and good lunch. Feel refreshed. Um, about two miles outside of Grand Lake right now. I was just looking and trying to make a reservation for one of the campgrounds at the lakes down here, and it looks like they're all booked up. So I have no idea where I'm going to stay tonight. One of the rangers at the visitor center was saying that all the campgrounds down there they save several sites for first come, first serve. Uh, for for walk-ins, but looking at the their website, it, it doesn't say anything about that. And I tried to call, um, and there it's impossible to get a human being on the line. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Here's Grand Lake. This will be the first reservoir on the uh, Colorado River. Correction, this is Shadow Mountain Lake. This, I guess, would be the second reservoir. And then I think Grand Lake sits back there, kind of in that bowl, maybe. That would be the first of the many reservoirs on the Colorado. Beautiful view. This would be the North Fork of the Colorado. Well, this is the turnoff for the uh, Green Ridge Campground. I am really hoping that they have a campsite available. If not, I really have no other options. Might be sleeping hobo style tonight. Some kind of bird up there in that nest. I think it might be a baby bald eagle. Well, I got super lucky. They had a site left and I snagged it and don't have to sleep on a park bench tonight. It's always good. I even had time to do a little laundry and drink a cold beer. Cheers. <laughs> it's a big one. It's actually warm because I carried it all the way from town. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, so.